So thank you all for coming. Today is going to be Health Corner, and it's my first Health Corner. So bear with me. I'm very excited to be here. Um, we are going to be talking about, oops, let's see. All this. There it is. All right. So we're going to be talking about staying hydrated today because it's finally summer and it's super hot outside. And I'm sure you've probably covered something similar to this in Health Corner before. So today is going to be really good for participation. If you want to share anything, we're going to have a lots of opportunities to just talk a little bit about why it's important to stay hydrated. So that being said, does anybody, can anybody tell me one reason it's important to stay hydrated? Does anyone have any ideas? You can um, unmute yourself and share if you would like. If not, I can call on somebody. No one wants to share. How about Kiana? Can you give us one reason it's important to stay hydrated? It's okay if you could take a guess if you're not sure. Um, hydrate. Um, when it's hot, can I drink water? Yeah, exactly. It's really important to drink water to stay hydrated when it's hot. Um, does anybody want to share maybe a reason why they think it's important? Yeah, go ahead, Gilbert. Oh, unmute yourself, Gilbert. There you go. Go ahead, you can share now. Okay, so the important to stay hydrated is drink plenty of water bottles and lots of vitamin waters. Yes. Yeah, we should do that to stay hydrated. Um, okay, let's talk about, that's great. Thank you both for sharing. Let's talk about why it's important. Okay, let's everybody. Okay, so it's important to stay hydrated because our body uses water to do for us to function, right? So it helps with digestion. It helps, gives us energy, right? When we're hydrated, we have more energy. And especially because we're all athletes, when you're working out, when you're exercising, it's super important to stay hydrated because you're sweating a lot and you're losing a lot more water, right? So that is why it's important to stay hydrated. When we're not hydrated, you know, we might feel tired or we might feel dizzy, um, might not feel like ourselves. So it's super, super important to get enough water in. So that brings us to how much water do we actually need to stay hydrated? Does anyone know or would anyone like to take a guess? Yeah, Nicole, would you like to guess? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I can guess, uh, I say uh, eight, uh, eight glasses of water, or you can do a whole lot of water from your uh, hydro flask. Yes, that is a great guess. Thank you so much for sharing that. Oh, so, so, exactly, exactly what you said. It's six to eight, eight ounce cups of water per day, or you can fill your flask as many times as if you want to do the math, that comes out too. But let's keep in mind, we need even more water when we exercise. Because like we said, does anyone remember what we said? Why we need more water when we exercise? Because we're what? We're sweating, right? We're sweating so much when we exercise, especially when it's hot outside. So we want to make sure that we get hydrated even more so. Oops. Okay. Does any, can anyone think of some ways we can stay, we can stay hydrated? Let's see. I see your hand, Gilbert. I'm going to let somebody who hasn't shared yet get a turn and then we'll come back to you. Okay. 
How about Nicole Enoy? Do you have any ideas you want to share? What are some ways we can stay hydrated? Ways that we can stay hydrated are like to do to, to like um find like maybe find some shade and then like um try I mean monitor how much water you drink. Yes, that's perfect. That's a great answer. Thank you so much for sharing. That is exactly right. And we're going to talk a little bit more about that later on. Kailani, I see you have your hand raised. Would you like to share? You can go ahead and unmute and share. Yes. Some ways we can stay hydrated. Go ahead. Um, work, like, working? Yeah, it, it is. Yeah, we have to work hard to stay hydrated. Huh? It is yeah. hard. Oh, thank you, Kailani. Okay, so that's great. So we're going to talk about five tips we have this summer so you all will stay very much hydrated. The first thing is don't wait to drink more water. So a tip is you can drink a glass of water with every meal and before and after exercise. Don't wait until you're thirsty to drink water because if you think about it, if we need six to eight cups of water per day, it's gonna be, do you think it's gonna be hard or it's gonna be easy to drink all of that at once? Or is it gonna be easier if we spread it out throughout the day? What do we think? Is it gonna be easy to drink that much water all at once or do we wanna kind of spread it out throughout the day? Yeah, Kiana. Well, um, like eating healthy mm -hmm. and you have, you have to have like, um, have more vegetables if a meal. So, yeah. yeah, that's so, you're so right. And that's actually, you beat me to it. That's going to be our next tip. So that's something to look forward to. Thank you for sharing that. Um, exactly. So it's actually going to be easier if we, like Kiana said, eat healthy at every meal, but also if we drink water with every meal. So the more we spread out all of our glasses of water that we need to stay hydrated, the easier it's going to be. So a fun tip for you all is to maybe try flavoring your water with fruit slices because fruits and veggies actually have really high water content, which is great for staying hydrated. And sometimes I know water can get a little boring. So some one way to spice it up is to add some fruit slices. So you can do some kiwi like this picture or strawberry, maybe some lemon or cucumber. Um, that could be really fun. If you guys, you should really try it. I really like fruit water. And so our second tip is to limit caffeine and sugary drinks. Can anybody guess why we want to do that? Maybe somebody we haven't heard from. Kyle, would you like to share why we shouldn't have so much uh, caffeine and sugary drinks like soda? The water. Mm -hmm. Or 1% milk? Yes, exactly. That's what we want to stick to. Thank you, Kyle. So we want to stick to this green light here, which is water, seltzer water, which is kind of like um, sparkling water or bubbly water, um, or skim or 1% milk. So we want to limit our sodas and sugary drinks because they actually dehydrate us a little bit. So we want to save them for special occasions and stick to water, sparkling water or skim milk. Our third tip is to eat more fruits and veggies. So Kiana kind of talked to us a little bit about this earlier. Um, but incorporating fruits and veggies into every meal and snack throughout the day will actually help us stay hydrated because fruits and veggies in themselves have um, a high water content, which is really cool because we know that fruits and veggies are a really healthy choice. And part of that reason why they are so healthy 
is because um, they keep us hydrated. So you could try having a fun treat after a hot day or on a hot, on a hot day, or maybe after a practice. Um, you could make a smoothie or you could make your own popsicle at home or have a nice colorful salad like the one pictured here. Does anybody have a favorite smoothie they would like to share? Maybe Zoe, would you like to share with us? Do you like smoothies? Do you have a favorite? Uh, yes. So I tried the strawberry smoothie. Yeah? It's, what else did you put in it? Just um, strawberries? Some strawberries or banana. Yeah, that's awesome. That's really great. Was it good? It was really good. Awesome. Thanks for sharing, Zoe. You're welcome. Yeah, so like Zoe said, you could do a strawberry banana smoothie or if you're feeling um, something, you know, if you add like frozen banana with some almond milk and some peanut butter, it actually kind of tastes like a milkshake, um, but it's a healthier version. So you guys could give that a try too. Um, and so our fourth tip, which is something that Nicole talked to us a little bit about earlier, is to stay inside when it gets too, too hot or find some shade, which was another great tip. Um, and the reason that is, is we of course are athletes and we want to be outside, we wanna be exercising, but we need to try to avoid activities in direct sunlight between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m because that's when the UV rays are the strongest. So that is when the sun is blazing down outside and it is too hot to be outside. Um, does anyone remember why it's why being outside when it's really hot will um, impact our hydration? What happens when we're really hot outside? Nicole Wayne, would you like to share? Oops, we can't hear you. There we go. What happens when we're outside and it's too hot outside? It's hot. It is hot. Yeah, exactly. Let's see maybe thank you for sharing that maybe too long ago would you like to share what happens when it's really hot outside when it's too hot outside yeah. what happens yeah. So inside You could guess what happens when it's too, when it's hot outside and we're outside for too long. We. Sunburn. We sunburn. That's a good answer. Thank you. That wasn't the answer I was thinking of, but that is so right. We do sunburn. Oh, Nicole Kelly, I see your hand raised. You can go ahead and share. Yeah, I would say uh, you will get sweaty. Yes. That is the answer I was thinking of, although Tulanga's answer was also right. We do <laughs> sunburn, but thank you for sharing that. Yes, we sweat a lot. Yep, it's sunburn or uh, uh, it's sweaty. It, it, and, but, it, and, but first, uh, before you uh, go outside, if it's that really hard, say put on sunblock so you won't get sunburn. Yes, that is a great tip. Thank you for sharing that. You're welcome. Yes, exactly. So exactly what Nicole, the other Nicole, oh, we have all three Nicoles today, um, Nicole Wayne and Nicole Kelly and Tulanga shared. So when it's too hot outside, we sweat or we might get sunburned, both of which will dehydrate us because when we sweat, we're losing more water, right? So we need more, we need extra water on top of the six to eight cups. So when we can, it's better to stay inside. But we, of course, are athletes and you still want to train. So when it's too hot to be outside, try an indoor workout instead. So 
similar to how we do workout Wednesdays on Wednesday with a trainer and you, most of you do it from your, in, from inside the house, you can go back always and watch those workouts if you want to um, do a fun workout inside, or uh, you could always look something up on YouTube too, to um, stay active, but stay out of direct sunlight from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And our last tip today oops, is to dress for the weather. So when we are going outside, if we can't avoid the sun, the sun entirely, when it's really, really hot outside, we wanna wear loose fitting light colors in the summer to prevent overheating and dehydrating. Cause like you can see in this picture here, when we wear dark colors, like what I'm wearing today, I'm in a black shirt. Um, all the sunlight gets absorbed. So it actually makes us feel even hotter than we already are. But if we wear light colors, light colors actually reflect the heat because they reflect the sun's rays. So we absorb just a little bit less and we might feel just a little bit cooler. So we might um, sweat just a little bit less if you can even believe it. Um, and like you can see this girl right here is wearing a hat. So for all of you who are playing outdoor sports, so I think like bocce or soccer, if you're practicing outside um, and you can try to wear a hat. Um, I know for, I see some swimmers on this call, it's not possible to wear a hat when you swim, but um, you will wear a swim cap, which is not the same, but <laughs> you're in the water. So it'll keep you a little bit cooler. Um, and yeah, exactly. When going outside, don't forget your hat remember to drink water before, after, and during outdoor activities in the sun. So like we talked about for our first tip, which is don't wait to drink water. Uh, don't wait till you're thirsty to rehydrate. Um, remember that the tip was to drink water with every meal and before and after exercise. So especially if you're going outside, try to drink some water before you go outside try to bring a bottle with you if you can when you're outside to drink and then try to definitely rehydrate afterwards. Okay, does anybody have any questions about what we talked about today? If not, anybody have any questions? Oh yes, Gilbert, go ahead. Oh, I have a question. So and what do we wear for um, outdoors? Yeah, that's a great question, Gilbert. So um, I'm a not a full expert on the outdoors, but from what I've seen, the best thing to wear when you're gonna be outside and it's really hot outside is to wear something loose fitting. So you don't want anything too tight because when our clothes mm -hmm. are really, really tight. Yeah. Um, you know, and we sweat a little bit more, right? Mm -hmm. So we want something loose fitting and we want to wear light colors. So yes. try to stick to white or if you have uh, light colored clothing, it's just, it's a little bit better than dark colors in terms of mm -hmm. absorbing the heat. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Does that answer your question, Gilbert? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Nicole Kelly, I see you have your hand raised, go ahead. Yeah, 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 I would say uh, what happened uh, if you play soccer, if they, uh, of course, uh, of course uh, one of the coaches might say, I can't wear a hat in, so in, in soccer, because uh, we might uh, use a hat to, uh, uh, to headbutt the ball. The use their heads. Yeah, that's a great point, Nicole. Thank you for sharing that. Then I, my sure. best advice would be to just bring extra water to practice. And if you are maybe taking a break or you're in between drills, try to find some shade and just cool off when you can to try to okay. at least give yourself some reprieve from the blazing sun. Does that sound like a plan? Yep. Okay, awesome. Thanks for that question. You guys have great questions. And, mm -hmm. and and also, uh, of course, uh, is tank top count as a uh, shirt? Yeah, it definitely counts as a shirt. But remember what we said previously to Tilonga's point about getting sunburned. 
remember to apply extra sunscreen if you are going to wear a tank top. I, I always do that. That's awesome. Great. Thank you for sharing. You're welcome. Does anybody else have any questions? If not, I'm going to challenge you all this week. So remember, we have Health Corner once a week. So next week, Monday, we will have Health Corner again. And so for this week, so from today until next Monday, your healthy habit challenge is to choose one tip that we talked about today about staying hydrated and do it at home at least two times this week. So it could be, um, you could try having putting fruit in your water and using that as a way to drink more water throughout the day. Or you could do a fruit smoothie before a practice, or you could um, choose to do an indoor workout instead of an outdoor workout in the blazing sun. Um, anything you want, you can choose anything. So you can choose one tip and do it at home during this week, at least two times. Um, and you should come prepared to share because we're going to share next week um, during our next health quarter. Does that sound good to anybody, to everybody? Does anyone have any questions about that? I'm good. Thanks. You're good? Okay, awesome. Yeah. So does anyone have any other, any, it doesn't have to be about the presentation. It can be about uh, health questions, Holly O'Maliola questions, incentives, song requests. If you have any, if you need to contact me, you can always email me at this email. Um, and remember that if you ever want to go back and watch these presentations again, so let's say you go home tonight and you're like, oh my gosh, Michelle, I forgot all the tips we talked about today, even though I know you won't because you have all been super engaged. Um, you can always go back to the YouTube and rewatch this to um, find out the tips or revisit these topics um, if you want to hear them again. Okay, does that sound good to everybody? Yeah, sounds good. Okay, awesome. Yeah. So then I'm going to go ahead and stop this recording and we can go into talk story time.